Have I got a story for you on this happy good morning. We've been tricked, swindled, bamboozled. If you're new here, hello. I'm Hope, your legging queen. This is my co-host, Leo. We're your number one source for all things fit fashion. I saw this video by Tati titled, Brands That Used Me Without My Permission. I saved it to watch later. I'll link it down below so that you can watch it too. Didn't end up watching it, and honestly, I kind of forgot about it. And then literally like two days later, I got a Facebook PM. Oh, I'm already getting heated. I need to stand up for this. N nope, the room's too small. I need to sit down for this. Lizanne reached out to me on Facebook with this link to this video by Evolution Fitness Co. And it was an ad for their Bunny Luna leggings. And they had just outright stolen a clip from one of my videos. They took the very beginning clip, which is where I'm saying $100 is a lot for leggings. But I'm here to provide you with an $18 alternative. First of all, there are a few reasons why it makes zero sense for them to even use this clip in their ad. First of all, the leggings that I'm holding look nothing like the leggings that they had on their site. And their leggings were $38, not $18. Went to their Facebook page, they had two likes. <laughs> and the only content that they had on their entire page was that ad post with my video. So I said to myself, Let's get them. Because I thought it could make for an interesting video. And I remember that Tati video, which I'm assuming it was a makeup company that used her video without her permission. But let's do it with some leggings. So I bought a medium pair of the blue Bunny Luna leggings using PayPal, got my confirmation email and everything. And then later that night, I got an email from somebody by the name of Derek Loveless telling me that my order had been canceled and a refund was on the way. But when I tried to get back on the site, this message popped up. Now if you try to find the site, it doesn't even exist and their Facebook and their Instagram pages are nowhere to be found. But I ended up getting my refund, was a little disappointed, my video idea was kiboshed, but I moved on and I forgot about the whole thing honestly. Oh, but then things started to get interesting. A couple weeks later I got a message on Instagram from Anya and she said, hi, I just want to let you know that some scam brand on Facebook is using your YouTube video on Gymshark Seamless as a promotion of their fake leggings. This video was a little bit different than the first one because they weren't using my voice. They were just using clips of me to make it look like I was trying on these butt lifting anti-cellulite pants that they created. Their Facebook page was even worse than the first round. They only had one like and other than that legging ad, the only other thing on their page was this ad for these horrendous <laughs> rabbit socks. So I said to myself, Let's get them. The leggings, not the bunny socks. At this point, this whole thing is just a joke. I thought it would make for a funny video. I'm mildly annoyed, but then I got another DM and another and another of all of these brands that I'd never heard of that were using my videos in their ads. And I really do appreciate you sending them to me and looking out for me because for some reason, I never get them. It's like whoever's behind this is over there setting up the demographic perimeters and they're like, females age 16 to 45 worldwide. Except Hoaxcope, she must never see this. But the last straw was when I got this message. I saw you in this ad reviewing these leggings, but I'm unsure if it's legit because you did not name this brand in your YouTube video. I'm starting to feel discouraged about having already ordered these. <laughs> I swear to you, if my buddy Lydia gets her identity stolen due to you tricking her with Leo and I, we will find you. Now I'm mad. It, quit. It might seem like I'm overreacting, but honestly this did start as a silly, slightly shady business that could make for some funny YouTube content. And now it's turned into me realizing this is actually very fraudulent activity. Some of us have been on this journey for a couple years now here on Hopescope. I try out all these crazy leggings. I tell you what's worth your money and what's just a joke. We've built this level of trust regarding activewear. So for someone to take that trust and twist it to sell their crap, Lee, are you mad about it? Oh wait, she just messaged me back. Cause we talked for a minute and then I just asked her today if she's received the leggings. She says, perfect timing. I just got them a couple hours ago. I'm not very impressed already though. They're really high rise. So the scrunch part was pretty much more on my back and made my butt look unflattering. The material seems thin and see-through. Never felt so uncomfortable in a pair of leggings, honestly. That sucks. I just hope somebody didn't do the same thing and not reach out to me and then get a pair of leggings like that thinking that I recommended it. Supposedly the FTC has been trying to crack down on these people, but you can't really send like a cease and desist to them because they make their money and then when they're done, they just 
disappear. So three weeks later, after I attempted to buy some of these online, we have some. I don't even know what I want to do with these right now because like I don't want to bring attention to them because they don't deserve it, but like I still want to try them. <laughs> and these actually came from California. For some reason I was expecting them to come from like China. There's no packing slip or order information in it though. Wow, an AliExpress dupe of the Gymshark seamless leggings. I mean, once you've seen one of these, you've seen them all, honestly, but I guess we'll try them on. I don't know which way is the front. Oh, the booty contour probably goes on the back, huh? I'm so upset that I just got completely naked and my window's wide open. Oops! Wow, here they are! Even if I had a good thing to say about these, I wouldn't say it because some other brand just gonna steal that clip. I don't know. Luckily for these, if someone was tricked into buying them, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But they're not worth $40. <laughs> you can find this exact pair of leggings on like Amazon or Wish for like $15. I would really love for us to take away something positive from this video. So here are some ways if you see somebody that you know or that you like promoting a product to know if it's legit or not. Number one, if it's a video and the person isn't saying the company name or isn't showing you a logo might not be legit. Another big one is click on the page of the company that's advertising the product and there's several things to look for there. Follower count, number of likes, physical address, comments, and reviews. Now I'm not saying that the follower number has everything to do with whether a brand is legit or not. There's plenty of little startup brands or small boutiques that just have a small amount of followers. But if they have like 23 followers, just be cautious. <laughs> comments is a huge one. If you go to a Facebook or an Instagram page and they have comments disabled, run. And then I think usually businesses on Facebook, there's a place to write legit reviews. Because if you go to a business's website, I think it's really easy to finagle things so that you can sort through and only post the five star reviews or you can post fake reviews. So do your best to find legit ones. And if all else fails, just go with your gut. If it seems too good to be true or it seems fishy, it might be. <laughs> well, that was a little bit of a different video. Not as fun and lighthearted as I thought it would be, but I think we all learned something here. <laughs> I would rip them up and throw them in the trash, but I don't believe in that. <sighs> I'll send them to a good home. Make sure to check out the channel memberships because it's gonna be a lot of fun. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Even if you don't wanna be a member because subscribing is free, but it helps Leo and I pay the bills and it helps me buy you treats. Oh. And with that, Leo and I will see you guys in the next video. Say bye, YouTube. Hope, how much did you pack? I'm doing this because I love you guys. You know that, right? <laughs> did you push a button? No, I didn't. Oh my God. What? Open the doors, what do you mean? Just open the doors. Just open the doors. Oh, 3-3-1, we're here. I literally am. Yeah, it is. Oh gosh. Spooked.